Hi guys, welcome to well Project Mifa, I guess. I wanna dive into her character in Age of Calamity. I also go over her amiibo. Yeah, okay, well get the intro out of the way. Let's start with her special move. In three, two, one. For Mifa special, if you press the A button. She heals actually three and a half hearts, and she stuns opponents. That's her special. Now we're going to move over to critical hit. One of Mifa's um, critical attacks, she dives down and goes straight for the eye. This is only for basically almost finishers for Guardians and Hinoxes, which are the big dudes for those who don't know. Another Mifa's um, special attack is a waterfall around the opponent. And then the last one, which I'm going to cut to right now for Mifa's last but most used one, is where she surrounds the, a ball of water around the opponent and then just swims around in it. And that's all for specials. Yeah, so let's move on to the next object. Um, This is me for a basic... Um, where's is this one? It's also the one um, that her amiibo is depicted in. It's almost in the exact same pose besides her left hand is slightly is on her chest. While this one is on her, is near her side. Besides that, they're almost the same. But if we take off the, the champion, it's just a fish. It's, it's basically without it. And yeah, I mean, for them, not that much customization. Well, let's look out how to find Mifa, just in case if there's someone watching who does not know or does not like Mifa and would like to learn her. She is the fourth character right behind Zelda and in front of Daruk. And in the transition, on the transition um, from like the loading screen. She's actually the fifth one to appear behind Link, the gar little guardian, spoiler alert, alert, called Heriko, Inpa, Zelda, and then Mifa. So you can see, Mifa is right here. That's a little icon. Yeah. And yeah, that's basically her whereabouts. Now let's go move on to some of the, well, let's do bombs slash, um, cryonis, magnetis, and stasis. Her stasis is, it freezes a lot. She initially has one attack, but that is false advertisement. I don't know. As you can see, if I do it again, but if I press B, like dodgy, she's actually free to do whatever she wants. Yeah, so that's a cool little fact about Stasis right there. Um, let's go on to Cryonis, because I don't know what else to do. Well, as you can see, she summons a block of ice in front of her, pulling every um, close by enemies in, and stunning if there's a gauge uh, let's see if we can get magnetis if not i'm gonna cut to it right for mifa's bomb she throws one up and then an onslaught of them coming crashing down i want to show you if you can uh, mifa let's go this guy first and i'll show you a neat little trick of mifa ability if you Find the most. Okay, well, that was awkward. See, if you fury attack, the bombs will lay onto the, um, the weak point. So, yeah, you can do something like that. It's pretty disgusting. Pretty disgusting. Yeah. And that's it for all her, her bomb state. Oh, the R button. R, B button, to be exact. Um, yeah. Um, I don't, if you use your bombs as Mifa, you can avoid attacks. 
Um, as you see, we're going over some Mifa tips. The first one, several of her attacks, such as her special attack, or the fountain you create have the ability to heal allies and yourself. Okay, well, ex just for the special attack. So we can see Mifa's... Yeah, so that's one of Mifa's character. Here's another Mifa tip. Use, use a strong attack to create a fountain of water, a.k.a. the X button. Then press ZR, a.k.a. the special, to leap from it and attack. It's basically teleport, but you get put in the sky. So we're going to talk about weapons now. Her first one, or the default one equipped, is the light skill trident. It's the... It's the, her weapon in Breath of the Wild. It's the one, but well, other weapons include a Traveler's Spear. Yeah, it plays exactly the same, just different look. And let's get, oh, that's the wrong button. Yeah, it's just a spear, nothing more to it. And then for her other, she has just the Zora Spear. It's the basic Zora weapon. It's it's basic. It's the same as the Ceremonial um serum. It's yeah. This is her second weapon and the second most basic one. And then yeah, and that's all her weapons. But let's move on to her appearance. Yeah. Let's do that. Now, as you can see, when she uses the Magnetus, she hits it ex back with her trident. And then the enemy is in a daze. For well, let's just say we don't have, we have the Zora Spear. Well, I'm going to show you what it looks like for the Zora Spear. Oh, that's perfect. It has the exact same animation, but with, diff but with a different... Spear, and then for, let's just do Traveler Spear to grind up the trio. They, they All the spears are the same, guys. I don't know if you know that from Mifa. But well, let's see if I can get a Magnetus. Magnetic. Beast. Uh, no. I want to, next five seconds, or I don't want to cut her it. Right now. now. So it's the exact same animation, but yeah, that's so how all three of them look. You don't know how long it took me to take this. Well, that is all for the spears. I'll switch back to my light skill chart and go over something about her, or as the game likes to call it, unique attack. So I actually maxed out Mifa. So this is why I'm doing this video. So for if you press it, you can spam with X. It does have a hitbox. Like right here, you can see they died from it. Well, they didn't exactly die. Really weak. It, does, it doesn't do any damage. It has a hitbox. See? You can see some Bokot look right See the bokoblins move, but nothing really happens. You know, you can activate it by pressing X, or you can activate it by pressing. If there's a a non-waterfall already, you can press the unique attack button, which is the ZR button, to make one. You can make another one if you're out of range of it. But if you make it, you can. If you press it, you go up. If you do it again, you go up. And the third time, if you have to do it for a total of five, you get five and six to get special. But if you keep spamming it, you get a waterfall, which leads into the paraglide effect. This does damage. You can see, like, right here. You can even go in the paraglider after it. Yeah, so that's for her unique attack. Now we're going over the Mifa amiibo, amiibo and just general tips that the game says for amiibo. For a me, uh, for Mifa. If I scan it, her in right now, we get a Zora spear. But I already have an inventory full. And if you try to scan it again, guys, it does not work. See? Yeah. 
and that's basically the me for amiibo. I may show others, but I get one per day, and I don't. And you can get weapons, you can get fish, you can get items. It just depends. Yeah, and if you max, it says right now, Mifa cannot carry in any more weapons. So you have to get rid of one. Yeah, and thank you. And, that's, and now for general tips. So this is a little disclaimer. Um, the reason why I'm not showing any, like, normal attacks, because that's the next video, do normal attacks, like the X button, like, all her combos, so yeah, that's why I'm not, um, talking about those, and thank you guys so much for watching, please like and subscribe, and one more thing, this is just a general news section, if you guys, the reason why I don't post any more Undertale videos is because, well, if I... My last one is my worst one so far on the channel, and yeah, I don't really like that. So I'm not going to, I don't really feel Undertales anymore, guys, basically. I may upload that, I may re-upload that video, just depends, but, but for now, just don't plan on having any more Undertales content. Maybe I will in March, I don't know. <coughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much. Please like and subscribe. And yeah, peace out.